Hi guys, it's Spectre here. Welcome back to some more Total War 3. Oh, Tyrion's campaign. What a fucking fight these Dark Elves are putting up. And if you're new around here, please drop a sub, help grow the channel. I'd really appreciate it as I make a push for the um, YouTube partner program. Alright, let's end this turn. Let's see what's what. He's gotten scale this strong in this campaign as well. Um, Kara Speedweaver. I can see him being a uh, problem if we're not careful. Right, let's see what the Dark Elves are going to do this turn with all their vast armies. The other tide is landing. I'm to look in these ones, we don't need to watch these. Only other one that I need to watch is Throg, I think. Because Daniel's already gone. And we wrecked Daniel. I am the heir of Anarion, and I bid you welcome. No. Where's he going? Okay. No, don't put it on somebody. Of course he is. Five fifty? The fuck? Surprisingly, the only mammoth is the one that he's riding, I think. Oh, there's one more on there. So there's only two. Last time this guy came, he had like six mammoths. He's got one more of champions, though, but... Defender of the I've got some masters. Madness! No! Traveling. I'm going to move to the edge in case. If you just said to attack that, because it is coastal. 
attacks. Either army should be able to take him. His units aren't high ranked, and there's Come no on. reason this army should have any trouble against that. Champion of the Ever Queen. One more turn, then Tyrion can go back over there. I need to check see if I've got enough for um, a lord because I've already got three decent heroes, haven't I? Yeah. What do you require? He's got conscientious. Warden of Sathari. He's gonna play the Lord, obviously. My powers she are got yours to command. Resistant. Right, okay, this is pretty good as well. Still got dangerous and efficient. Fuck me. See, if I were taking the sister's army, that'd be fine. Because you'll either have Silvering Guard as your front line, or Phoenix Guard. But you don't also have a lot of sisters and bolt throwers. So the key reduction on those would be quite nice. Defender of the Phoenix <sighs> Ariel's taken these two. I don't know how they have Ariel's armies. Ariel the Ever Queen. I just want Ariel to keep occupying settlements. and they can take out Marathi for me and I ain't got to devote any resources to deal with Marathi. I can just focus on dealing with the main problem at hand, which is him. So I don't give a shit about Daniel. Daniel is not my concern. But I need to wipe out them. Because I only need three more provinces. But I need both of these dead. If they're alive and by one settlement or one army, it's not giving me the short campaign victory, which is what I need. Although at this point, this is not a short campaign. Not with this many turns. Short campaign was like Loki of Felhart. That was a short one. Right. Personally, I'd rather someone weaken this army, because this army is quite nasty. Even though it's not highly ranked, it is um, quite nasty. Send it to me. This is another important thing to realise as well. We get this point, and your enemy's got this type of armies and this quantity of armies. Just because you can move every turn, doesn't mean you should move every turn. You you want to wait for them to over overextend their their hand. You want to wait for them to make a mistake. If they make a mistake, you capitalise on it. Sometimes you've got to play that way. Unless you've got enough force to match their force, which I don't. I can't play going in there and fighting for brutish. If I send my one army Valister in there against three armies in a settlement, I'm going to lose. I need these armies to disperse and be more one-on-one -on -one type fights. 
I could maybe manage a two on one. Depending on what's in one of the armies. If the army's not overly outfitted with um, dangerous units that are going to give me a lot of aggro, then I should be okay. Well, at least that forgot that fucking love fifty assassins fucked up over there. He's no longer on old one. That does me. Is that Grom coming back over again? Greetings. The Phoenix Court will... Ah, why not? Fuck it. See, why is Grom coming to attack me? Has Bretonians all around him, but he's literally walking past him to come and attack me. Anti players bias bullshit. What the fuck is that army I'll break? Do not recruit fucking mounted yeomen. Ever. I don't even recruit those in the early game. I go straight to Knight's Errand. And even Knight's Errand aren't great to be fair, they're the poorest of the Knights because their leadership is absolutely garbage. They don't have the poor leadership trait, but the leadership's not much better than that of a troll. They do break ridiculously easy. And that's why really for Bretonians to like be decent, you need to get to Knights of the Realm on questing knights. And questing knights are really, really important because they're like your front line. You need those to charge in and hold the enemy line in place. While well, your knights of the realm and your Pegasus knights go around behind them and take them out. Obviously, Pegasus knights can fly, so you know that's not an issue. But your knights of the realm need to scoot and shoot the flanks. So they can then take them out. Welcome to Mass. Remove their bombs.
Okay. That one. Phoenix is quite durable. I am honored. Into position. Let's nice. get you back into water. Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. Your word. Need you. Marching out. To come down here. Because Grom's coming over what again. For some reason. Like this a giant a green parasite. Faithful servant. Mortality, good for her. Grom again. All set. My God, when do these change? It takes so long. At your service. That other army had a load of dragons in as well. The one that fought over this direction. Short sighted. I cannot break my oath. Ether. Because that's basically starting to doomstack. Because she's got five fucking black dragons. She's on a black dragon herself. So that's six. Three Caribidis, which are anti large. And then a Ferromanticore. That, that, that is essentially a doomstack. Because it's ten single entities. We've got these nine, and then she makes ten. And then rest of arm is either anti-infantry or anti-large in some way. Like they're anti-large cav. They're just really good cavalry. And they're anti-large. Fucking hell. You need me. It's annoying fucking army to fight against. You have my attention. Who reminds me? Your A.
let's see if we can merge those into one, can we? Oh no, definitely one fog. It's that one, that one's also shit. Those two are the same, aren't they? Yeah, let's merge those. I'm one of the stars. It's actually not greed. Good for her. So she can use that to like get out of a tough spot if need be. Tyria. Your will is done. moment I'm kinda just stuck here I think I need my AI to like um, draw their attention because um, to be fair Ariel's now started to do something she stopped being less useless and started to move in land and do things Still don't know what these are doing. But yeah, I need these to move in. Because obviously these can bring in the quantity of armies that I can't recruit. Not like the AI does. I mean, there's no dark elves on this flank now. There's not been an attack round here in a long time, which is pretty good. Because I'm keeping Malekith's armies busy over there, he's got nothing to send over here to stop them. And all I need him to do is, is consider them more of a threat than me. Cool guy's still around. Once he considers them more of a threat than me, then they will have to send armies over there to go and stop his armies. And when he does that, I'll then be able to push. That was kind of stupid on that AI army's part because they're just going to die next turn. He's got two very dangerous armies right side by side. <laughs> and to be fair, that one arm with like six dragons in it, that'd be a tough fight in a one on one battle. Two on one? Fuck no, I'm not taking that fight. One on one, I'd fight any army. I would give any army a go in a one on one scenario. As long as it's. You know, an army that I can use, not like a early game shit army that you've just got to like try and put up with. We should destroy one. All right, okay. Why well, she get destroyed? Oh, she got destroyed. Oh, that's Marathi dead then. Or well, should be. If these guys don't fuck around. I think all she's got left is those. So she should have like what five territories.
become the defender of Ulf One. Choo Just realised as well, Throg's actually inadvertently doing me a favour in a stupid way. Because Throg keeps sending like one army every now and then. He's led by himself or one of his other generals, you know. He just keeps sending one army. But he sends one army and all he's doing is literally just levelling my armies up, my, my heroes and lords in the defensive armies. Oh yes, of course. I keep getting brought out of my ambush dance. Starting out. Never. What is this foolishness? Maiden of Alaria. Peace? You gave them peace? Why? No. And you can't defeat me, my garrison is too strong. You know Especially when we've got this from your fucking shit marauders. Lord's Army plus strength plus 8% Lord's Army and Peace Weapon Damage plus 8 Lord's Army. Nice. Sailing for adventure. To adventure. Anchors away. <laughs> Protector of the Ever Queen. Speed is essential. Setting sail. We're going to fuck up this green skin. What's going on like in there? Up up there, good. That's what I wanted. Yes, finally. 
And that's the, the, the better one, the one who couldn't one. Yes, well, that. Right, good, 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 good. Okay, so we... We're going to want a mix, aren't we? I'm going to want a bit of a mix. You have a griffin. Why would you ride an eagle when you have a griffin? Entering the garrison. Do I choose his dedication? as well what we'll do is we'll take a mix of two actually is what we'll do boom straight in the blue tree right okay Standing by. Whatever you say. Plotting a course. This is beneath me. I cannot obey. Right. Time for action. Direct me. Where to? Prince of Elfwine. This guy then. Now you're just gonna be an attacking army. I'm gonna send you to attack. He's got doctrine as well, which is also a bloody good trait. Which people is not so good on him, that's fine. He's got dynamo, some speed and leadership, which is good, and then he's gonna play Lord into yeah, cool done. Right. Your bidding. Rank nine Phoenix guard for me. What the fuck. The heroes and some silver helms are the uh, hero, hero, obviously, heroes are here, I don't know about that. some silver helms.
Iran protects me. Anything else on there? Okay. Right. Guardian Looks gonna be cool. <coughs> You're going to plug the gap, so to speak. Defender of the Evergreen. We've got Aurelius there. What did he get for his trait? He got resistant as well, actually. What did this guy get? And he got resistant. I can, I've got three resistant ones now. Yeah. Melee defense so five is really good. Because bear in mind you used to get like um infill dominance on like um the old exalted champions in the one one and two. And that was plus five melee attack. This is five melee defense, fifteen percent spell resistance, and ten percent missile resistance for infantry. Which they need it more than cavalry because they take longer to get into combat in the first place. You don't want something that just buffs the Lord. It's irrelevant. Right. So, Anmasu is now going to be an offensive army. I just need to deal... With Grommy first. Moving out. Waste of this army is not near as strong as the previous one. This previous one was a lot stronger than that. Dispatch me. Ready to attack. If he takes this, that's actually good for me because I actually want that because it completes Tory Vess. And what I'll actually do is actually I'll send Anresu over here to wipe out Throg. Since Fay Enchantress refuses to fucking do it after being told. How many turns ago? So, I'm gonna go and do it myself. I will take care of Throg. Then it's one less person attacking this side because I don't need it to be attacked on this side. It's annoying as fuck. And if he somehow syncs this up Defender with the. Um, <laughs> Like when Throg comes, or Daniel, if he comes back or something. That's going to be very annoying, because then I could start losing some territory. So I'm just going to get rid of him. Okay.
Right, that's two armies you've destroyed now, Marcus. Attack. She's got no armies left. Get the fuck in there and take her territory. Don't give the bitch a chance to come back. Still didn't take that something, why not? Lord Lowe seemed to have like lost most of the armies going north. <laughs> Oh, they actually wiped out. That's a punch, right? Do not betray your king. The punch was wiped out. Apparently by Cetra. Speak. Attack. Right, let's finish him. Have that. Your word. I'm ready. Right. Prince. I'll let them recover. <laughs> then that army is going to come over here. I'm going to take out Massive Orkle. So I don't have to deal with the Grom. Prince of Grim the Bleeding Anine Punch. Fight that army. Yeah, between that and the garrison will be fine. You waste my time. They're backing him up, what the fuck? Her servant. It's alright, but they always move another army into fucking reinforcement range, aren't they? Yeah. 
Digging ambush damage, brother god. He's there, is he? Okay. Asurian servant, Ladriel, grant me your sight. Poet, protect them. I will share my experience. Your decree. Yep, and then we just need four silver helms, and I'll complete that army. I will do my duty, guardian. What the fuck? Vink's got a monsters. They got really high melee attack and defense. 100 fucking leadership. 110 armor. 5 ward save. 30% physical. And then obviously because of some of the traits from the hero and love. Got 15% missile. 20% spell. And then they get martial mastery as well. So they get another 12 melee defense in the battle. And 8 more melee attack. That's going to be, what, 75? And 61. Jesus Christ. That's like Lord level stats. And then they've got charge defense against all. Good grief. Those units are disgusting. They're basically elven version of Iron Breakers. Just Iron Breakers are probably slightly better protected against missiles because they've got shields. But then, seeing that, they've got 30% physical. A steady hand and heart. Right. So we are getting set. Tyrion's back over. Uh, Tyrion's back over there. Yeah. He's recruiting, and he's got to make a, a run round. <laughs> he's going to go and join the other guy at the top. Servant of the king. Let's see what we can do. Right, we haven't made progress, I suppose, in terms of us advancing, but at least our allies seem to have. Because they've pushed down here and taken that. They've taken a few more here. I don't know why they haven't taken him. What the fuck? Never mind, I know why he hasn't taken them. Devotee of the Lady. Hoping we can get the uh The Great Outdoors Wow what was that accent? Get in there, we should be good. Yeah. I mean we separated this army. I need that army to be alone when I fight it. Shield against the darkness. There's a black arc here. If it does come down here, I'll jump out of Slaver's Point and I'll take that out. Right. I'm going to leave this part here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, leave a like. If you're new around here, please drop a sub, help grow the channel. And I'll catch you on the next video. Take care, everyone, and have a great day.